Welcome back. We are at Red Baron's. A little bit of everything, a little bit of everything, including this beautiful car. Tell us about this good car. This is a custom tea bucket hot rod. It only has 750 miles on this fresh build. Okay, okay. Um, this is a hat on backwards car. Uh -huh. This is all motor. Um, if you want to go really fast and look really cool doing it, this is the this car is for you. And you know because you drove it here this morning. Uh, let's talk about the pig. There is somebody watching right now that collects pigs that is going to go crazy for this. This is Jenny. She is the art pig. She's our psychedelic pig. And she came from Madeira. And she was an art installation for the city of Madeira. And she's actually signed and numbered oh, and cool. hand painted. And she can be outdoors or indoors. You would have a very interesting conversation that piece. Is very her. true. Let's keep going. Let's keep going because we got to get it around the corner here because I want to show. Oh, this, this art, the found art, is fantastic. Um, as we go around the corner here, you have a little bit of everything. Yeah. So these these chairs right here took me back to my grandma's house. Yes. How old are these things? These chairs are from the 1940s. They are glider chairs, yes. considered glider chairs. Um, and nice. boy, get on your patio with your iced tea uh -huh. or your beer yeah. and just watch the world go by. They're Speaking so of which, the world going by, you have a dinosaur. Of course, of course you do. Of course you do. Keep on going back here. It's like the, and the whole back room back here is just full of treasures as we come on in here. But there's one thing that really caught my eye, and it caught your eye, and it was crazy how you found this. Yes. So it's this box right here. Tell that us about that. That is correct. That is a Railway Express lockbox that is from the 1850s, and I discovered it in a garage and I saw just the corner of it. It was buried beneath a lot of other goodies. And I didn't really realize what it was until we got it out, and it took us a couple hours to get it out. Um, but this was originally a Wells Fargo box because they were green, but it has the old hand-forged latch and straps and the leather handles on the side. Yes. It has the some of the original labels on it. This is an incredible piece of railroad and Wells Fargo history. Absolutely. And she just saw the corner of it and she says, what is that down there? Uh, if uh, people need to come here, they, they need to come here. They need to come here. Pine Grove is great, by the way. It is. I'm really having a good time here. We're going to come back and just show off the whole I town. I hope so. Uh, but tell folks exactly where you're at because I know they want to come visit you. Our address is 20051 Highway 88 in Pine Grove, Amador County. Yeah. Can't miss it. Just Can't look for it. the Red Baron. Look for the airplane on the sign <laughs> yeah, yeah. and all the cool stuff in the yard. We've got a couple more things we've got to show you before we leave, so that's all coming up. Back to you guys. Hey, Code, where do you want to send the caravan next? Oh, I'm looking for towns 500 people or less. 500 people or less, let me know. I want to come and take a tour of your town. Good day at KMAXTV.com. Cool. All right. Thanks, Code.